This adventure continues our four-wheel drive in northwest Namibia. In this episode, Ben and I are going to continue to show you how to explore Namibia independently. Day 10 starts out from Sesfontein Lodge. We're leaving the fort to Opuvu because there's no diesel here. It's an easy 123 kilometer drive to Opuvu on an actual gravel road. Luxurious compared to the last few days of driving. Opuvu is a crossroad of local cultures. The 135 kilometer dirt road to Swatbui Strip was well groomed but boring. The only highlight on this stretch of road is the Swatbui Strip Memorial commemorating South Africans that went to Angola for a better life but were eventually kicked out in the late 1920s. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye. Ben starts his daily search for a remote and free campsite. Our camp for the night. Where are we? In the river. There's a pool over there. I mean, it's... What's the name of the river? Kulina. Oh, okay. Comes with a fresh gator swimming pool. End of day. End of day 10. Yeah, you drink straight out of the river. Wanna try that too? No thanks. Whew, it's hot out here. Free push service. Bye bye. Net fisherman in the river. What about the gators? If they're not afraid of gators, then I'm not either. Curbside street vendors. Two, three. Bye bye. Bye bye. When we had to stop for a nature call, we discovered that there are no isolated spots along this stretch of river. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Very good. Seven siblings, and here comes mom with one more on her back. From the Konini Riverside Free Camp, we followed the new dirt road northwest to Pupa Village, where I insisted that we stay at an upscale $10 per person campsite. The riverside view of the world famous Epupa Falls was a good reason to stay. But more importantly, it was for the luxurious swimming pool. After a swim, it was time to visit the falls. Note that it was the dry season during our visit, so the water levels were very low.
After an easy night, we exited luxury and started our drive south towards Okamwati village. Okamwati, we went to shop the local wares and then stocked up. We then left the dirt road and started on a difficult four-wheel drive track that would take us into the most remote parts of Namibia for over a week. How these people survive out here is a mystery, especially with so many children. Every time the locals saw us coming, they would run out to meet us. We were potential customers, entertainment, and charity. The left rear wheel continued to leak slowly. Good thing you invested in a compressor. I do have one, somewhere in the car. Really good high-end Chinese pumper. Oh man, I thought you had a high-end German manufactured precision instrument there. He's going to give you sugar. Sugar. That's what you want? Sugar. Sugar? Sugar. Thank you. Thank you. As the day wore on, the track became progressively harder. But just when we thought we were alone, we discovered this fellow in a Toyota Hilux 4x4 rental. We helped him with some road work to make the track passable. I don't want to buy that rental when it goes up for sale. football field. More road work.
We were at the top of the Ziles Pass, and our goal was the Marion Floss Valley below. There's the trail. A desert stone man, Andrew Rogers, created the sculpture. The artist created these men of Kooko land in the remotest reaches of Namibia. This fellow sits above the track dejected while watching Ben doing road work. We were still not at the bottom. Finally at the bottom of the pass, a spot commemorating many fellow hardcore four-wheel drive aficionados. After a brief stop at the foot of the pass to look at the memorabilia, we set off across the Marion Floss Plains. Biscuits. You want to have something good? Biscuits. That's all I got. Yeah. Oh, you got something better? Here, you want to give it to him? Our world had changed a lot in a day. We started from the luxury lodge in Apupa and ended the day in a free camp in the lovely and remote Marion Floss. We were in a Savannah film scene out of time. Can it get any better than this? <laughs> 